A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean Sea. Speaking to you all in the month of February 2, 2020, God blessing, God riches, blessing and love and grace and saving salvation towards mankind everywhere in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Reaching out to you all in my Christian right and of fellowship. Brothers and sisters, I was watching a video recently with a Mark the adult from the 80s experience in Dallas, Texas and the next guy from the big, the big, the big, the show I think is from England, the big conversation. The name of the guy is, um, he's a Christian, um, Glenn G-L-E-N G L E N, his last name is spelled S C I V E N E R, Savenda. And once again, Mark Donald Dalty, my dear friend, atheist, is making a fool of himself again. He traveled to Dallas, Texas, straight up if the show is in England, to continue to make a, himself a fool on the on the world in the public dominion, public domain. On the world stage and he is telling my dear friend Glenn who is a Christian who haven't thrown out his Christianity out of the window as he have done but he's fallen onto his Christianity talking about the atheist experience. Mark Donadulty your little Christian brother way down in Trinidad and Tobago are here to continue, continue to remind you that an atheist community, it is a, it is an ungodly community. It is an ungodly, right or unrighteous community. First, people who are atheists, whether in a in a in a community, first they don't believe in God. They are denying the existence of God. When they get up in the morning, they are not praying to God. They are not thanking God for the rain, for the sun, for giving them health and strength, because they are not looking and they are not reading the Bible, the words of God. Because everything godly they are posing it, first they believe in evolution in a Big Bang theory. And Charles Darwinism. And denying that the intelligent design is designed by God. So these people who are living in that atheist community, when the criminals go in there, the criminals know that these people are not God-fearing, all the atheist community is not God-fearing. So the criminals will land at them and say, will say, you know, Matt Donald Dante and Eric Murphy and all of them and Tracy Harris, they are not on, they are not godly people. There is a bunch of atheists. We could go in the community and stick them up and rob them because they will not be praying towards God to protect to protect them because they don't believe in God in the first place and they don't believe in the, that Satan exists. Because they are posing the Bible. And the bandits on them and the criminal element will recognize that. Ah, and when they come in all the community, they will be able to stick up all your now why not pray that to happen? But a lot of them might think that way. And if they do come in the community, they will say we will go and rob these people. Because they don't pray, they don't believe in God. They don't believe in God. They are not praying for divine protection. And they are teaching the children not to believe in God. After all, they are a atheist community. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the criminals are watching all your videos, Mark Donald Dalty. Yes, the drug lords and the criminals and the mafia and the mobs in New York. They are watching all the atheist video and they know all they don't believe in God. And they're hearing about the atheist community in Dallas, Texas. Yes, and the criminals in the other city, in, in um, Dallas, Texas, they are hearing about all the atheist community. Mm -hmm. They say these people don't believe in God. They have no fear for God because they're teaching God this nexus. Mm -hmm. We could walk in all the community. You understand? We could walk in all the, all the community. Because first, they are not praying the atheists are not praying that God should keep we all the bandits out of all the community. The Christians are across there who believe in God. They are praying that we bandits should not come in the community and steal because they believe in God and they believe there's a Satan. 
Ah, but these atheists are because they don't believe in God and don't believe there's no Satan, no devil. So they are not praying against us. So therefore we could go and attack them. Ah, uh, I show Mark Donald, Mark Donald Dalty, Mark Donald Dalty and Tracy Harris and Eric Murphy. All you never think about that, eh? but all the little brother are thinking about that to mention that to you all. Yes, I'm thinking about that to teach you all that. I'm just showing you all the stupidity that you all are on at the end of the day. And MacDonald Dalty have gone quite over in England on the big question show discussing with, with Glenn to try to convince my dear brother to become an atheist like he. I hope Glenn doesn't fall to the clever magical tricks that, that MacDonald Dalty will try to pull off on him if he thinks that he is losing the bet. But it will not work, my dear friend. It will not work. I know that Glenn, my dear brother, I know he will stick to his Christianity and he will stick to the Bible. Oh yes, oh yes. And he will not be fooled by MacDonald Dalty to become any atheist. All, all your atheists need to turn to God. Get down on all your knees and repent and ask God to forgive you all and turn to Jesus Christ because he's our God, he's our Savior. God is real and God is real because when God created Adam and Eve, don't God did not abandon Adam and Eve. God told Adam and Eve that he is God. It is I who want to create you all and I create you all for a purpose. Adam and Eve did not grow up in no atheist community. Adam and Eve grew up knowing God because God came and talked to Adam and Eve in the cool of day in the garden. Yes! So you see how God created man not to become atheist? Uh, God created man to have a relationship with man. Yes! Yes! But you all teaching, you all teaching, you all want to spread this atheist community that you all start from Dallas, Texas, as all the base, all over the world. Matt and Aldi, once again, all of you all are on foolishness and stupidity. I, Eric Braxton, are saying that to you all face. I ain't tend to hide behind no bush or beat around. I tend to lay everything on the table in the open, in the public domain. I'm telling you all to the face. And all the, all the people who are listening me, Eric Braxton, on my videos all over the world will happen to see this video. Do not make the foolish mistake and, de and denounce all the Christianity or renounce all the Christianity and give up on the Bible, give up on the Word of God and go and join Matt Donald Dalty or Aaron Ra or Seth Harris or Andrew, Seth Andrew, the trio, the three, the trio, the three comedians, the three comedians. To join atheism and to become an atheist. Do not fall in these three comedians. Yes, I call them the three comedians. Eh? I call them the three comedians. That is not an insult. I'm saying that to wake them up. So they will come to the reality what I'm teaching them. Yes. I have a video out on them. The three com comedians on the world stage. The three atheist comedian on the world stage. They think atheism will save the world. They think atheism will redeem mankind from the sinful nature that is in mankind. Who is only God to save mankind and redeem mankind from that sinful nature that man born in. It's only Jesus Christ to redeem mankind from the troubles and the, and the suffering of this world. Not atheism. Atheism is denying Jesus Christ. But the, all the crisis in the world, it is the true Jesus Christ will move the crisis in the world. How wonderful, how wonderful. Atheism will not be able, able to do that. And Madonna Dalti, in conclusion, before I come to this, Madonna Dalti, Aaron Ra, my dear brother, and Seth Andrew, my dear brother, and all my atheist brothers and sisters in Dallas, Texas, and throughout the international community, who have already denounced and threw away the, the Christianity outside the world, threw away the Christianity and, and abandoned God and abandoned the Bible and now have embraced, embraced atheism and, and following Matt and following Matt Donald Dalty as the, as the chief apostle of atheism, as the chief apostle of atheism, I just want you to know that Matt will not be able to save you all, Matt Donald Dalty. And with all the, in conclusion, all the clever tricks that James Rana have taught him, and clever move, 
and that we're not able to save James Renai. That all that magical tricks will not be able to save, save James Renai. Neither all that magical tricks that James Renai have passed on to his, to his, to his little lad, brother, Matt da, Ma Dante, who's, who's a magician. All that, all these tricks that he know will not be able to, to save he and all these bands of cliques and followers and people who believe in him and trusting in him and accepting his philosophy of atheism because it seems that he is the chief apostle of atheism from Dallas, Texas, going all over the world. Yes, he seems like he have the mantle and being the chief apostle of atheism. I want to remind you, Matt and Adanti, that that even self you have become or you, 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 or, or you want to become the chief apostle of atheism and spread atheism all over the world. You were not able to save yourself, neither all these people who are gravitating and accepting what you say. At uh, the end of the day, all of you all are sinners and are rebelling against God and making fun of God and his words. And there's a judgment you all are stand before God to give account for all, all your actions. Yes, I, but I'm not saying, I'm not giving my tongue liberty to say that in spite you are doing all that, that you are saved, that you, that you are lost, you know, and God has written you off completely, you know. No, no, no. You are, you are in the hands of God, in the context that God created you, and God will judge you. And since you are in his hand, he will judge you fairly and squarely. And therefore, I am out of that. When the context of that, I out of that. God will deal with you righteously. So I out of that. In the mighty name, because he's a righteous judge and his judgment is righteous. I will not be judging you in the day of judgment. God will be doing that. So 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 I leave that in God's hands. That is not in my hands. My hand is too small for that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God's hand will deal, he will deal with that. My dear friend. So Madaladanti. My dear friend, you will not be able to save the world with your atheism teaching and with your atheism philosophy and ideology you were not able to save no one with that at the end of the day i could assure you that my dear friends you mr um iranra and satiris the tree the tree the trios yes i have a person i saying that to you all and all the rest of you all showed uh, uh, all of you all i'm saying that Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, this little Christian boy here is Branson. I'm seeing that and I'm preaching that and I'm teaching that to you all. Jesus Christ is our Savior. Jesus Christ is our God. The Bible is the holy words of God. The historical record of the Bible is true. The teaching of the Bible is true. The prophets of the Bible is true. The words of God is true. The gospel of the kingdom is true. Jesus Christ is coming again. God is real. He created the angels. He created the universe. The intelligent design is of him. He's an invisible supernatural being. He exists. He's real. It is he who created us. We do not make ourselves. He's our king. He's our God. He's our Lord. He's our savior from Genesis to Revelation. Oh, he has revealed himself to mankind, to his oracle people, the children of Israel, to their forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, or the house of Israel, and to the house of Judah. He's our God, and all to the Gentile nation. He's our King. He's our God. He's coming again, our Lord and our Savior, to establish the, God, to establish the kingdom of the God upon the certain Jerusalem, where he will sit upon the throne of David and rule over mankind, showing mankind his righteous rulership. Oh yes, his righteous rulership, because his government is righteous. His government is a holy kingdom, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. The divine government of God, the everlasting kingdom of God. He is our God, he is our king, he is our savior. It's the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and no one will not change that. No one will not change that, because God ruleth in the kingdom of men. He set up kings and bring on kings, and he rule in the kingdoms of men. The heavens do rule in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, according to the book of Daniel. So God is coming again to establish the kingdom of God, his divine government upon this earth, to bring peace to this world. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Shalom peace. May God bless you all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Shalom peace. Amen and amen.